Children's Hospice, Yvonne from the hospice is here, she'll say hello in a minute. Whoever wins the raffle wins the artwork. Now, we're going to run the raffle till a week Saturday. So obviously the chaps from the press are going to make sure that the information about this goes into the papers and such like next week so we can raise as much money as possible for a wonderful charity that is local to us. The other thing is, we will have copies of all these books by Chris, signed by him. You can buy them from Pritchard's just around the corner. If you want one today, especially dedicated, then come up after he's done his drawing and he will do a special dedication for you. You may even get a little picture that time allows as well. But please keep coming to these things. It's important that we get as many of you as possible telling other people about the great things that go on in Formby. Um, hopefully you're now going to enjoy what goes on. I'll just let Yvonne come and say hello and say thank you for supporting the charity. and thank you for coming along today in support of Clare House Children's Hospice. Clare House is very grateful to Chris for, and to Tony for this event. We don't get any government funding at all and Clare House is a wonderful facility for children of this area with life limiting conditions and it's where they can go and the whole family goes along too and they're looked after and we make their time fun and happy. It's a wonderful, vibrant place so please find out a little bit about Clare House. It is here for you, for the families of the area. And we thank you all for your support. Thank you very much. Come and, and swim. I always have like a package of cheese and onion crisps at the end. And the minute I walked in and start that swimming pool, I started craving cheese and onion crisps. And I, I might have to see if I can get some in a minute. Um, I'm going to do some drawing on one of these big sheets of the four. And I'm going to draw something from this book. This book is called Alienography. It's an incredibly silly book, but any of you who've uh, watched Doctor Who or watched... Uh, you know, I like the sea that we used to swim in when we were young. Anyone else with a pound come over and see Yvonne or my, or my helper over here, Vicky? It's, they're not going to go very far. They're locked in, I think, aren't they? <laughs> Does it go very deep? I've not been myself. Well, loads and loads of great authors for all ages, tastes, and such like coming to call me. Got the shopaholic lady in a few weeks' time. Got Phil Jupiter, the comedian, just after Christmas. We've got Andy McNabb from the SAS. Tell other people, register for the website, look at the stuff that goes on Sir Patrick's website and spread the word. It's important that we all tell each other what's going on. Apple ticket for free. But a pound is not a lot and it's for a very, very good cause. Hospices need money on a daily basis more than anywhere else. You sadly never know when you might need one. So it's best that we support one while we've got one that's so near to us. So obviously, Dig deep, buy more than one raffle ticket. You only going to win one prize, but uh, you know, it's nice if you can find a way of, of supporting things. If you want to come up and look at the box, please do. £300 uh, pounds easily. Crystal's the political cartoon every Saturday, I think it is in the Observer magazine. And basically, I think every year he, he has so many of them that he raffles them off, uh, you know, down in London. And definitely worth the look. Because she was here a few weeks ago and I had to walk around in the costume for a whole day. Very hot and sweaty. I didn't want to be the person after me. Anyway, what well, Chris has just drawn. This is a total unique piece of art. If you keep it, you'll love it. If you decide to sell it, it would be worth a lot of money and you just need... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.